The news headline, Why I want to wear Ishiago to court, saves Unam De Kano. You're welcome to the news. The news details, Indigenous people of Biafra hyper bleeder, Mazi Unam De Kano, cannot wear the Igbo traditional attire, is the Agu to court. Justice Bita Uyanko ruled yesterday. She had asked Kano to indicate the type of clothing he preferred to wear after a complaint by his lawyer. The IPOP leader said, I want to wear the clothes of my people, Iziago. But the judge refused to grant the request. It was at a hearing on Kano's applications in a stressionable felony case at the Federal High Court in Abuja. The judge will rule on April 8 on Kano's application to quash the terrorism charges against him. Justice Binta Uyanko fixed the date after taking arguments on the motion. The court, however, ordered the security the State Security Service SSS to grant Kano access to his reading glasses. Kano's lead counsel, Chief Mike Ozekweme, San had, at the commencement of proceedings at 1.30 p.m., complained that the SSS failed to allow his client to change clothes, despite an earlier order by the court. He also accused the SSS, in whose custody Kano is being kept, of failing to provide his client with his reading classes. The son claimed Kano's sight was threatened by his inability to use his reading glasses since he was rearrested last June. Ozekwame said, My lord will still see the defendant in the same uniform which my lord warned against in the last proceedings. It will be recalled that they had on that day alleged that he said that he preferred to wear the same clothes because it is a designer. However, since that time, the younger brother of the defendant, his lawyer and sister have gone three times with materials for him to change, but they refused to collect them. So bad was it that Ifai Ejiofo, another lawyer in the defense team, had to call the director of legal services and complained to him. The director told him that he would do something about it, that he would contact the director of operations to ensure that the order was carried out. But since then, nothing has been done. They have not allowed him to change his clothes. My lord, since 2015, his glasses were taken from him. The one he wore before his extraordinary rendition from Kenya was also taken from him. Till now, he does not have glasses to wear and his eyesight is deteriorating. My lord, we don't want the defendant to go blind. That is why we have decided to bring it to the attention of the court. Jose Kwame said, Counsel for the prosecution, Shurab Labaran, said the clothes brought by Kano's family had lion's, lion hats drawn on them, adding that such designs offended their operating procedures of the SSS. Kano filed fresh applications challenging the competence of the amended 15 count charge filed against him. He is praying the court to quash the charge because they were frivolous and that the alleged offenses were committed outside Nigeria. The prosecution has argued against the applications and prayed the court to dismiss them. Unlike in previous proceedings, court staff, lawyers, litigants and journalists had easier access into the high-rise building and its surroundings at the DSS losing its iron-like grip on the court's security. Part of the Southeast were shut down due to Kano's court appearance. In Anambra, schools, banks, markets, and commercial activities 
were shut down in all the cities in the states. Most cities were like ghost towns as residents stayed indoors for fear of being armed or killed by violent IPOB members. All the streets were deserted with no security operatives seen. But the state's police public relations officer, Ikenga Tochuku, said the operatives were everywhere from Unewi to Oka, Ekwelobia and Onicha, adding that he left Onicha in the morning to his office in Oka. I just came from Onicha now to work and our police personnel are everywhere, he said. Residents of Umaya and Aba, the two major cities in Abia state, also stayed off the street. Our correspondents who monitor the two major cities reports that markets, including the popular Ariaria International Market, were closed for business. Banks, schools, and other public and private institutions were also shut due to fear of possible attack. Kanu, who was rearrayed on January 19, pleaded not guilty to the 15-count terrorism charge. He filed a preliminary objection to the charge, praying the court to strike out or quash them. On the same day, an Umaya High Court in Apia State awarded 1 billion naira damages to him in a judgment on his fundamental rights suit. In the amended charge, Khan was accused of making a broadcast with intent to intimidate the population in which he threatened that people would die, the whole world would stand still. He was also accused of issuing a deadly threat that anyone who flouted his sit-at-home order should write, write his or her will, which resulted in a lockdown of the Southeast. Khan also professed himself to be a member and leader of IPOB, a proscribed organization in Nigeria contrary to and punishable under Section 16 of the Terrorism Prevention Amendment Act, 2013. It was said to have incited members of the public to hunt and kill Nigerian security personnel and their families. The federal government said Kano directed IPOB members to manufacture bombs and to destroy public facilities. Now, about the clothes of Mazunam de Kano, recall that even when the president wanted to go and visit Imo State, the clothes he was putting on had lion at. So why the case of Mazunam de Kano? Why is Nigeria government so biased about Igbos? What has Iziagu clothes got to do with government? Iziagu has been in existence over half a century, and it is not IPOB or ESN logo. It's, it, it is Igbo's way. What's your take on this? Kindly share your thoughts. Thank you.